Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knocking ring letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Time I was going. Don't forget, Pat, it's the annual school party tonight. Don't worry, I've got my best suit ready and I've polished my shoes. See you later. <coughs> Bye, Jess. <coughs> Cheerio, Pat. Where did all the thread go? Well, I never. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Jess. <coughs> go on, Dad. Ask her. But what if she says no? Dad, I'm sure Dr Gilbertson would love to go to the party with you. Well, I, uh, I'm not sure about this. Yes, you are. I'm off to the cafe to meet Sarah and Mira. See you at the party later, Dad. Oh, uh, um, uh, right. Cheerio, Lucy. <coughs> I'm just going to the cafe to meet Mira and Lucy, Mum. OK, but make sure you're back in plenty of time to get ready for the party. Yes, Mum. <coughs> uh, hello, Dr Gilbertson. Oh, hello there, Arthur. Are you looking forward to the party later? Uh, yes, but... Well, about the party, I, uh, I've been meaning to come and see you. Oh, dear. Don't say you're ill. Ill? No, no, no. I'm fine. It's just, uh... Because you wouldn't want to miss the party. Oh, uh, no, no, I wouldn't. You see, I, um... Yes? Well, I was just wondering if you'd, uh... Yes? Well, you see, I'm going to the party, and I was wondering if you were going. Well, yes. Yes, I am. Oh, right. Well, um... I'll see you there, then. Cheerio. Oh, Arthur? Yes? Would you like to go to the party with me? Yes, yes, I would. Marvellous. I'll see you later then, Arthur. <laughs> I can't wait for the party. Me neither. I'm going to wear my best dress. Mira, I've got you a new sari for the party. Hmm? What do you think? Oh! Oh, oh Mum, it's Great! Thank you! Oh, you're going to look so pretty. What are you wearing for the party, Lucy? Um, I don't know. I haven't got anything fancy enough. Don't worry, Lucy. There's a box of Mira's dressing up clothes in the back. I'm sure we'll find your party outfit from there. Yeah, I'll go and get it. Yes! Up, up, dee, up, go, dee, dee, lump, lump, doo, doo, doo. Station calling PC Selby. Station calling PC Selby. Receiving you loud and clear. Over. Escape sheep causing roadblock near Thompson Ground. Over. Be right there. Over. I'd better get hold of Alf. Sharpish. Uh, what are you looking for, Mrs. Goggins? Oh. Just a wee something for the party. Got to look my best, you know. Oh, here we are. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I haven't worn these for years. If, could you give me a hand pat? <laughs> Certainly. Uh, 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 uh. Careful, Mrs. Goggins. Uh, 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 choo! Thanks, Pad. Maybe I'll just wear my pearls. We're bound to find you a party outfit in here somewhere. What about this? Um, I don't think so. Um, it's too, um, woolly. Ooh. What are these for? You put them on your feet. Ooh. Oh. Oh, they make you very tall. Do you think I could wear them to the party? See if you can dance in them. Um, OK. Oh, this is hopeless. <laughs> Hello, Dr Gilbertson. I've got a letter for you. Oh, thank you, Pat. My, you're doing a grand job. That car's gleaming. Yes. Arthur and I are going to the party together and I thought we should arrive in style. <laughs> you certainly will. Cheerio, Dr Gilbertson. Goodbye, Pat. Hello there, Pat. Thought I'd dress the hall up a bit. Could you give us a hand with these curtains? Of course. I'll just pop this post down here. Go on, will ya? Well, what do you think, Pat? Well, uh... Oh, no. They're too short. What am I going to do now? It's a shame for such lovely curtains to go to waste. But don't worry, Jeff. With a few streamers and balloons... <sighs> we'll soon make this a great room for a party. <laughs> move! Move! Shoo, shoo! Bye, uh, Carthy. Thank goodness you were here. Don't worry, Alf. We'll get these sheep back in the field in no time. Oi! Come back here, you silly sheep. <laughs> Hello, Ajay. Hello! My word, the Greendale rocket is looking smart. Aye, well, she might not be able to go to the party, but she can still get into the party spirit, eh, Pat? <laughs> yeah. Here's your post. Thanks, Pat. I think I'll just pop into the cafe for a quick cup of tea. Cheerio. Cheerio. See you at the party. <laughs> Hello, girls. Hi, Hi Mr. Mr. Clifton. Clifton. So, which outfit are you going to wear? Come on, Lucy. Tell us. It's a surprise. Oh, a surprise. I can't wait. Mira, it's time to get ready for the party. Coming, Mum. I'd better go home and get ready too. You coming, Lucy? Um, uh, no. I think I'll stay here for a bit. Oh, yeah. You don't want to spoil the surprise. See you later. Lucy, are you all right? I can't go to the party. Why ever not? I've got nothing to wear. I can't go dressed like this. Hmm. Maybe I can help. 
Wait right here. <laughs> oh dear. Arthur will be here soon. We'd better hurry up and finish getting ready. Tired, Arthur. I couldn't have managed on my own. No problem, Elf. Oh, no. I'll have to hurry if I'm going to get changed and pick Dr Gilbertson up in time. I've broken down. It's no good. I have to run to Dr Gilbertson's if I'm going to take her to the party. Arthur got to. Oh, we'll just have to head off to the party without him. Hello, Pat. Hello there, Dr Gilbertson. Um, could I borrow your car for a moment? My car? Well, of course you can, Pat. Thank you. Where are you, Arthur? Oh, just made it. Dr Gilbertson? Dr Gilbertson? Oh, no, she's gone. I hope she's not angry with me. I must find her and explain. Your carriage awaits, Lucy. You shall go to the ball. Wow! Lucy! I don't know! She said she was coming with Pat! Sylvia! Oh! I'm so sorry I'm late. You see, I was heading home. The road blocked by sheep. They escaped and my car broke down. What a disaster. <clears throat> yes. Yes, it is. Do you think there's a way I could ever make it up to you? Well, there is something you could do. Anything. A dance, perhaps? My pleasure. <laughs> oh, Mom! <laughs> Amazing! Yeah! Just like a princess! Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> well done, charming Prince Pat. <laughs> Just 
just beginning Pat feels he's a really happy man Everybody knows his bright red man All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them Maybe you can never be sure they'll be not Letters through your door <laughs> Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat And his black and white cat All the birds are singing The day is just beginning Pat feels he's a really happy man Pat feels he's a really happy man Pat feels he's a really happy man. <coughs> Whew, it's a funny old day out there, Mrs Goggins. Feels like there's a thunderstorm brewing. Oh dear, I do hope not. I have to take Bonnie out for her walk. <laughs> Hello, Bonnie. Look, Jess, <coughs> Bonnie's got a new toy. <coughs> ah, she won't go anywhere without it, will you, girl? <coughs> oh, dear. <coughs> it's just a bit of thunder, Bonnie. Nothing to worry about. Come on, Jess. Meow. Let's get home before the rain starts. See you later, Mrs Goggins. And don't worry about the storm. It'll soon pass. Oh, dear. Help me, somebody! Help me! I've lost my little boy! This sounds like a job for Captain Zap! And this girl! Oh. oh! What are you two up to? We're playing superheroes. We help people who are in trouble. We're the bravest superheroes in the whole world. <gasps> well, if you don't come indoors, you'll soon be the wettest superheroes in the whole world. There's a thunderstorm coming. Great! I love thunderstorms. Don't you, Julian? <gasps> oh. Oh. Come on, Bonnie. If we hurry, we should get back before the rain starts. <coughs> oh, yes. We mustn't forget your special toy, must we? <coughs> now, where is it? I'm sure it was around here somewhere. What have you got there, Jess? Jess, you naughty thing. That's Bonnie's new toy. <laughs> oh, dear. We can't take it back to her now. Here comes the storm. Ooh, come on. Oh, dear. <laughs> now, Bonnie. Remember what Pat said. A little bit of thunder is nothing to worry about. <laughs> Bonnie! Bonnie, come back! Bonnie! Yes, Nisha. Of course Mary can stay here until the storm blows over. <laughs> Bye. Look at that rain, Julian. Julian? Mrs. Clifton? Meow. Where's Julian? Oh. Mm. Meow. Meow. Oh. Oh. Body! Julian? Body! Julian? Oh. Body! Are you all right, Julian? You see, Julian, thunderstorms might sound scary, but they're not really. 
they're just caused by electricity in the sky. I know that, Dad. But it doesn't stop me being scared. Ooh. I'll never be a superhero, Mum. Superheroes aren't scared of anything. They're really brave. That's not what being brave means, Julian. Being brave means doing something even though you're scared. Help! Help! Somebody help me! Mrs Goggins? Bonnie just ran away at the first sound of the thunder, Sarah. We were both so scared. Try not to worry, Mrs Goggins. Bonnie's a sensible dog. She's probably just gone somewhere to shelter out of the rain, like Jess does. And when the storm's over, mm. she'll run straight home. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> Don't worry, Mrs Goggins. I'll find her. Oh, Pat, thank you. You're a real hero. <laughs> Can I come with you, Dad? Julian? Are you sure? I thought you were scared of thunderstorms. Being brave means doing something even though you're scared. Right, Mum? Right. All right, then. Come on, Captain Zap. Let's find that puppy. Where are we going first, Dad? Thompson Ground. Bonnie might be sheltering in Alf's barn. Don't worry, Mrs Goggins. Bonnie may turn up here at any moment. You're not scared of thunder, are you, Jess? Thunderstorms can't hurt you, Julian. Not if you're careful. You just have to remember to keep away from open spaces and not to shelter under trees. They could get hit by lightning. Come on. Nay, sorry, Pat. Bonnie's not in my barn. I've just brought all the animals in out of storm. Oh. Why don't you try Greendale Farm? <laughs> Mrs Goggins often takes her up there. Thanks, Alf. We'll do that. One, One elephant, elephant. Two three elephants, elephants. Three elephants. That means the storm is three miles away. Ah, uh, I see, dear. Uh, there's just one thing I don't understand. Uh, why do we have to count in elephants? Bonnie! Bonnie! Come on, Bonnie! I'm sorry, Pat. I just checked the cattle sheds and I didn't see her. Why don't you try the railway bridge? Hmm. Cheerio! Funny. Oh dear. Is everything all right, Mrs. Clifton? <sighs> the electricity's gone off, Mira. It must be because of the storm. There'll be no tea, I'm afraid. Oh. Tell you what, I've got a much better idea. Bonnie! Oh dear. We'll never find Bonnie in this. <gasps> Look out, Dad! <laughs> We can't drive any further, Julian. Then we'll have to get out and walk. There. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Let's make some toast. Yeah. Bonnie! Bonnie! We must be nearly there now. Six elephants, seven elephants, oh, seven miles. And that means the storm's moving away. 
Honey or jam, Mrs Goggins? Bonnie! Bonnie! Come on, girl! Bonnie, come on, come on Bonnie, girl! Where are you? Bonnie! It's her! Where is she? Oh, that was lovely. If only poor Bonnie was here. Oh, what's this? It's Bonnie's bone! <gasps> oh. Bonnie? Oh, she's in here. It's all right, Bonnie. We're here now. She must have crept in there to get out of the storm. Come on, girl. Let's get you out of there and take you home. Oh, oh. It's no good, Dad. She won't come out. We need something special, like her squeaky bone. You're right, Julian. We'll have to go back and get it. <laughs> oh, we can't leave her here on her own. One of us will have to stay with her. Hmm. I'm sorry, Julian. I can't leave you on your own either. Uh, it's Mr. Glenn. Hey, Mr. Glenn. Mr. Glenn. Hello. What are you two doing out in weather like this? Mr. Glenn could wait with me and Bonnie, couldn't you, Mr. Glenn? Eh? Nine elephants. Ten elephants. Ten miles now. The storm's yeah. definitely going away. Pat! Oh, where's Julian? <sighs> Have you found my Bonnie? Julian's with Ted, and we've found Bonnie. Now, where's that squeaky toy? So you see, thunderstorms might sound scary, <gasps> but they're not really. They're just caused by electricity in the sky. I know that, Julian. But I still don't like them. We can't all be as brave as you, you know. Do you really think I'm brave? Hi. Hello, Julian. Hi, Ted. Look. You've got it. Yes. Now, come on, Bonnie. Come on, girl. That's it, girl. You can do it. That's it, girl. Well done, Julian. Now then, let's get Bonnie home. Hello, everyone. Hello. Oh, Pat. How can I ever thank you? Don't thank me, Mrs Goggins. It was Julian who had the idea of using the toy. And Julian, who kept Bonnie company while I went to fetch it. You're a hero, Julian. A real hero. Not just a hero, Mrs Goggins. Julian did something very brave, even though he was frightened. And I reckon that makes him a superhero. Wow. <laughs> and you're my hero, Julian. Oh. oh. <laughs> Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Feels he's a really happy man Everybody knows his bright red van All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them Maybe you can never be 
sure there'll be knock rings, letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. What a racket! I wonder what Julian's up to. Yeah. Oh, you wear it then. Um, <laughs> what about this? <laughs> no, that's no good. Let me try. No way. There must be some good dressy ups in here somewhere. Hey, what about these? What are they? Dunno. Let's go and see. Oh. Mum, Dad, what are these? Ah, they're called chaps. They go over your trousers to protect them when you're riding a horse. Like this. Oh. Cowboys used to wear them in the Wild West. Cowboys? <laughs> These are great. Look what I found. <gasps> Cowboy hats. Wicked. <laughs> Looks like you've got everything you need now. Yeah, let's be cowboys for the day. I used to love playing cowboys when I was a lad. I even made up a name for myself. Cowboy Pat. <sighs> Why don't you come and play too, Mr Clifton? Yeah, come on, Dad. <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got work to do. OK, see you later. Come on, then. Let's be cowboys. Yeah! <laughs> 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 oh well. <laughs> Cowboy Pat. Bet you want to join them, don't you? <laughs> you big kid. <laughs> it does sound like fun though. <laughs> Cowboys always have a sheriff. Can I be sheriff? Okay. But you'll need a special sheriff's badge. I'll go and make one. See you later. Hey, Bill, you forgot your hat. From now on, the name's Bill the Kid. OK, Pat. Uh, I mean, Bill the Kid. Howdy, Mrs Goggins. Oh, hello, Pat. Sorry I'm a bit late, Mrs Goggins. I was helping Julian and his friends with their cowboy gear. <laughs> they asked me if I wanted to play too. Oh, I loved watching all those cowboy films when I was young. Especially when they used to play cards. They used to do all sorts of fancy tricks. Like this. Look. <laughs> oh. Ooh, can I have a go? Whoops! Oh, no! Oh, dear. I don't think you'd make a very good card player, Pat. <laughs> no, I think I'd better stick to delivering the post. Bye, Mrs Goggins. Cheerio, Pat. Look! Oh, I'm a real sheriff now. So what else do cowboys do? Um, they usually ride horses. Let's pretend these are our horses instead. Hey, yeah! Giddy up! Yeehaw! Oh, 
part, nurse. The cowboys on telly are always rounding up cows and stuff. Oh, wow! Well, what are we waiting for? Yeah, let's round up those sheep. This is hopeless. They won't budge. Oh, yes, they will. Look! Oh, no. We're not supposed to leave gates open. Quick, follow that sheep. Yeehaw! Ooh, get Yeehaw! Hey, Jess, hey? look at me. Yeah. I'd make a great cowboy. Watch. Hello, Pat. <gasps> Hello, Reverend Timms. Um, I was just... Good morning, Pat. <laughs> or should I call you Cowboy Pat? Um, best be getting on, Reverend. Cheerio. Bye, Pat. <laughs> hey, Sheriff. Where'd he go? I don't know. He can't have gone far. Let's split up and see if we can find him. Hey, I'm Sheriff. I should be the one deciding what to do. Sorry, Sheriff. Right, let's split up and see if we can find him. That's what Julia said. Bill! <laughs> Sorry, Sheriff. You go that way, Julian, and Bill that way. I can't see that sheep anywhere. What would a real Sheriff do? What I could do? Aha! I can hear it. I think it's coming from in there. Aha! Footprints. I'll track the sheep like a real cowboy. Oh, I bet real cowboys don't have this trouble. I'm thirsty. Come on, let's go to the cafe and work out what to do next. Yeah, I wonder how Mira's getting on. Hello, Pat. Hello, Jess. Meow. Have you seen this sheep anywhere? No, oh, sorry, Mira. Is he in trouble? Big trouble. He escaped, and I'm the sheriff, so it's down to me to find him. Oh, I see. Well, thanks for letting me know, Sheriff. I'll make sure I keep a close lookout for him on my rounds. Thanks, Pat. I'd better go and check on my deputies. Hmm. If I can find that missing sheep, I might be Cowboy Pat after all. Meow. Meow. Oh. Cheer up, cowboys. Here you go. <sighs> Hello, Dad. Hello, Ajay. Everything all right? Aye. We just brought the Green Dare rocket back from Pencaster. Hey, up. Why the sad faces? We lost a sheep. Oh, dear. I'm the sheriff, so I've put up lots of wanted posters. And Pat's helping with the search, too. I'll keep an eye out when I'm driving the rocket, Sheriff. Thanks, Dad. Uh, I mean, partner. Have you looked down by my water mill? No, not yet. Let's take a look there, then. I've got an old bucking bronco ride in the back that you can try. Oh, oh brilliant! brilliant! Well, partner... We've only got one letter left to post. Meow. But you'd better keep your eyes peeled for that sheep. Meow. I can't see the sheep anywhere. Me neither. Aww. Let's go and see if Ted's got the bucking bronco ready. Wow! Oh, 
kid. That looks brilliant. So, who's going to be the brave cowboy and give it a shot? I'll do it. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. This cowboy stuff is easy. Doesn't it go any faster? Oh, no. Uh... I don't think it's working properly. Oh. Here, let me have a look. <coughs> OK, kids, switch it on. OK, Ted, but it's my turn next. No, it's not. It's mine. But I'm the sheriff. Yeah, but I'm Bill the Kid. No! I'll get it going. No. Hey, Jess, did you hear that? Meow. I think it might be the missing sheep. Meow. I can't see it anywhere. Oh! What on earth's that? Oh! Oh! Quick! Do something! Oh. We're trying! Oh. Dad! We can't switch it off! Oh! Back. Help me! It's jammed! Help me, Pat! Whoa! 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 Spread out. Make sure you block its path. Thanks. Um, well, we'd best be getting this sheep safely back into the field, Sheriff. Thanks, Pat. But I think you'd make a much better Sheriff. Looks like I did get to be Cowboy Pat after all, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Feels he's a really happy man Everybody knows his bright red van All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them Maybe you can never be sure There'll be knock ring letters through your door <laughs> Postman Pat, Postman Pat Postman Pat and his black and white cat All the birds are singing The day is just beginning Pat feels he's a really happy man 
Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Mind now, Jess. It's a bit windy out here. Come on, Julian. You don't want to be late. Uh, oh, uh, coming, Dad. Looks like you're going to be busy at school today. Yeah, we're all planting trees for the nature project. Oh, Meow. move over, Jess. Hello, Bill. Hi, Mira. Meow. All set for the nature project? Yes, Mr Clifton. We got five trees already. Six with this one. And when we're finished, Dad's making pizza for everyone. I didn't know Ajay made pizza. Oh, yes. He's using Julia Pottage's special oven. And he's using a special recipe. I hope it's got mushrooms on it. And tomato. And cheese. Sounds great. Come on, Jess. Bye, Bye, Pat. Hello, Pat. <laughs> what windy weather we're having. It is a bit blowy. Uh, at least there's not too much post today. Letters for Greendale Farm and a couple for the cafe. And mind how you go, Pat. Right you are, Mrs Goggins. Come on then, Jess. Meow. Let's take these up to Julia Pottage. Meow. We can see how Ajay's getting on with those pizzas. Flour, mushrooms, tomatoes. There you are, Ajay. Here's the wood to keep the oven going. Rightio. Thanks for babysitting. Nish has just been so busy at the school. Not a problem, Ajay. He's been as good as gold. Mind the oven. It's already lit. Should be hot enough by the time you've made the pizzas. What are you putting on them? Ah, I've got a special recipe. Ooh, that does look good. Maybe I can help. Oh, that'll be packed with the post. Hello. Hello. How are the pizzas doing in there? Fine. They're going to be delicious. The children are so excited. They're going to be really hungry after all that tree planting. Oh, <gasps> the trees! I forgot all about them. The twins will be wondering where I've got to. Don't worry. I'll be fine here with Nick Hill. Meow. We can give you a hand, Ajay. We'd love to see a real pizza being made, wouldn't we, Jess? Meow. Bye then. See you later. Cheerio. Ah, I'll mix up the dough and you can help make the bases. Righto. Oof, it's hot in here with that oven alight. I'll just open the window a bit. Watch out! Ah, that's better. <gasps> oh dear. Well, that's deep enough, I think. Now, where are your trees? Here they are. Oh. Sorry I'm late. I was busy getting the oven lit for Ajay's pizza. Thanks, Thanks Mum. How's he getting along? Splendidly. Pat's giving him a hand. He's got a rather special pizza recipe, I must say. Mmm. I can't wait. Has it got a special topping? I don't know. He said it's going to be a surprise. <coughs> right, everyone. Now we've all dug our holes. <gasps> oh! Mr. Pinkle, Mr. Pinkle, Charlie's glasses have fallen into the hole. Well, we'd better get them out then, or they'll get buried. And no one will find them for years and years. Hmm. Bill, you've given me an idea. <laughs> what if everyone found something special about Greendale and buried it under their tree? Oh. Why, sir? So when people find them in years to come, They'll know something about our village. Mr. Pinkle, Mr. Pinkle, how about a map of Greendale? Or a model of the Greendale rocket? 
or a maths book. Why, those are all good ideas. The children can find their special objects and we'll meet them back here later. Oh, I hope Ajay's recipe is good. We'll really want a pizza after all this work. Uh, it's it's a bit sticky. You have to spin it around. Like this. Hmm. <laughs> hey, this is easy. Whoa! Whoa! It's stuck on roof. I didn't think it'd be that sticky. There we go. Ah. Oh. What have you got, Lucy? It's my dad's old helmet. And I've drawn a picture of him. Look! And we've got these to show the different animals on the farms in Greendale. I wonder what the others have got. How about a Captain Zap comic? It's got to be something about Greendale. Oh, I wish my dad wasn't making pizzas. He'd think of something. Yeah, so would mine. Come on, we better get back to school. I suppose so. Everyone else will be there by now. Now you need to put the toppings on. Hmm. Mushroom, olives, peppers, cheese. What's this one? That's pineapple. Part of my special Hawaiian pizza recipe. Pineapple? What, on a pizza? It's in the recipe. Trust me, it's delicious. That's a lovely idea, Bill. Thank Mrs Pottage. Great. Has everyone got something special? We looked everywhere. But we can't find anything to put under our trees. Maybe you two will think of something when we've planted the others. Come on, let's get started. <laughs> I'll just go and get a few more logs for the fire and we can start cooking. Mind the... Door. <laughs> that should do it. Well, that's all of them, I think, Jess. <coughs> the boxes! Oh. Well done, Jess. <gasps> I think this map is the best thing about Greendale. It tells you who lives where. Well done, Sarah. <laughs> now, who's next? Oh, don't worry, you'll think of something. Well done, everyone. We'll need some pizza after all this hard work. I'll go up to the farm and see if Ajay and Pat need a hand. Mmm, that smells good. That's it. Let's get them down there while they're still hot. You take Nickel in the van with the pizzas and I'll tidy up here and follow you down in a minute. Right you are, Ajay. Soon be there, Jess. Oh dear, hold tight, Jess. Oh no. This is the only road into Greendale. I'd better go back and warn Ajay. What are you doing back here? That old oak tree's fallen down and blocked the road. Oh, no. How are we going to get the pizzas to the school now? Hmm, I know. We can take the pizzas cross-country on your motorbike. Good thinking, Pat. 
Oh my goodness, it's completely blocked the road. Pat and Ajay will never be able to get through. <sighs> what will they do? Are you sure you'll be okay? There's a footpath across the fields. I'm sure we can get through with the bike. Come on, Jess. Meow. Get here soon. The children are really hungry. Oh, Sarah, bad news, I'm afraid. Pat and Ajay are stuck up at the farm. They'll never be able to get down here with the pizzas. Oh, the children are going to be so disappointed. We made it. Hang on, Jess. Now, let's get these pizzas delivered. Don't worry. We'll make you all some sandwiches instead. But it's Dad's special pizza. What's that? It's Pat. And the pizzas. Hooray! Somebody order a pizza. Well done, Pat. Are you all right? We're fine. And so are the pizzas. Don't worry, Nisha. Ajay and Nikhil will be here soon. Thanks, Pat. You've really saved the day. Mmm. Mmm, yum. Pineapple. Mmm. Hello. Three cheers for the pizza chef and a very special recipe. Hip, hip. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! We saved you one. Thanks, love. Mr. Pringle! We know what we're going to put under our tree. Of course. Here you are. One special pizza recipe. So that everyone knows about our delicious pizzas. 